locally owned and operated for over 50 years, Delaware Camera is your number one spot for all your camera needs, education, accessories, printing, and more. Located at 2635 Delaware Avenue in Buffalo. Visit Camerspot.com. Am I on, Will? <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Okay, welcome to the latest uh, uh, Tuesday Tech Talks. I was getting confused with my different shows. Um, as you can see, I'm not in the upstairs Delaware camera. I am coming to you from home because we are closed today because of the driving ban in Buffalo. And uh, we figured we'd still do a show today because it's Tuesday and we do Tuesday Tech Talks every Tuesday. Sorry, I don't look my best. You know, I, I have my, uh, my webcam on. I don't usually do video talks from home, but we're still gonna do this as we normally do it. So we have producer Will here and we are going to be interviewing Katie Addo about her productions and we're gonna talk to her about her business and her background business, which is in addition to her business, um, her production business. So as far as um, housekeeping, as we normally do, we're closed. We've been closed since uh, December 23rd. We were open December 23rd and we were closed. We were, clo oh, we were closed on December 23rd. So Friday the 4th, we were closed yesterday. We were closed today. We were closed on Christmas, of course. We will hopefully open tomorrow, but it depends on if there is a driving ban or not. So keep an eye out on social media to see if we are open. Uh, feel free to give us a call. Email us, um, marketcamerspot.com. If you go to our website, you can see you can, there's a link there. You can also text us on the website as well. So if you're looking for help, we will try our best to help you in any way that we can while this is all going on. So. We sell cameras, accessories, all that jazz. We digitize your life, all that stuff. Um, we have classes coming up next. Uh, first class is January 4th. It's uh, Photography 101. It is an online Zoom class. So if you want to sign up for that, go to our website. It will take you to a link. There'll be a link for classes. You can sign up for classes there. There's a whole set of classes that we have. We have two months of classes that are scheduled out right now that are Zoom classes, but fear not people who love in-person class, we are getting those ready as well. So you'll be able to come into the store, take a class with one of our wonderful teachers as well. So um, this is the last Tuesday of the month. So every last Tuesday of the month, we do Artist of the Month. And this month that is Katie and we will have her on momentarily. All right, so we're here with Katie. Hi, everybody. Oh. Hello. <laughs> <How are you? laughs> I'm okay. Survived. Yeah, thank you for joining us in these weird circumstances. <laughs> Definitely. It's nice to see how, another human. <laughs> yeah, so how have you been dealing with the snow? Um, I mean, okay, we're definitely among the lucky ones who, you know, we've had power throughout, um, we've had food, so we've been trying to make the best of it. Um, you know, definitely hard being home with small kids, like once again, in our COVID quarantine mode of, you know, that I, I think that gave us some like training for what to do when you know when we're unable to leave our house but um yeah i'm just really grateful that you know we haven't needed to go anywhere um and we've been safe and with power so are you guys in the city proper we are we're in north buffalo um we there's no signs of us being plowed out anytime soon we're on like a small side street so i think it'll be a while yeah, we're hoping to open tomorrow. Actually, here in Hamburg, like up until Saturday evening, we could see the top 
blades of grass. So we didn't get much snow until a Friday, Saturday evening. So that's when we first got snow. Well, we got snow before that, but we got a bunch. Oh, wow. Saturday, Sunday, so. And it wasn't as bad as last month where we got our 80 inches of snow, but there was no yeah. winds then. So. Yeah, it was bad in the city, really bad. Like I still, like our car is buried in our driveway. It's like, uh, you know, five, under five feet of snow. So rough. I'm sorry. Yeah. Our poor city, I know. Yeah. So let's get to the business of this episode and let's let's talk about your business. So tell us, give us a little brief history of your business, Ada Productions. Sure. So my husband, Greg, and I started Ada Productions in 2018. Um, that's the year that we moved to Buffalo from New York City. Um, so prior to starting our business, we were staff employees uh, living in New York. I was at Condé Nast working for Glamour magazine, um, and Greg was at Time Inc., um, and he was the senior producer of digital content for um, like a bunch of the Time titles, um, making sponsored video content. So we were definitely in you know, the same world uh, in New York, and we were working jobs we really loved. Um, but then we had our first daughter and, you know, just priorities kind of shifted and we were um, ready to, by the time she turned a year old, we were just kind of ready to get out of New York. Um, so we just like, we left New York and moved to Buffalo because, you know, my family's here. Um, we, we could just have a better quality of life in Buffalo. But we, other than that, like we didn't really have a plan. We definitely didn't plan to start our own business right away. Um, Greg was still able to work remotely for time for a little while. Um, so we moved here and pretty quickly like realized that there was a need for what we do. Um, and we just, we went into business for ourselves and we started Addo Productions. Um, so that was four years ago and it's, it's really been great. Um, you know, Buffalo has just been really surprising to us in terms of like the opportunities that we found here, also the creative community that is here, like we've just found it to be so, you know, like collaborative and welcoming and there's so much talent and so many, um, you know, like shared resources. Um, so we've really enjoyed that. And um, yeah, just been kind of like building as we go. Um, you know, the pandemic was definitely a weird time for our business. We of course shut down as non-essential workers for a while. Um, and I guess if anything, since the pandemic, our business has like shifted a lot um, in terms of video, like there's been a real need and demand for video. Um, and, you know, we've been able to handle that. We've been able to scale our productions, um, utilizing a lot of like talent in the area and outside of the area. So when we get video jobs that need, you know, like um, animation and voiceover and all these other aspects, we're able to, um, you know, like call upon our team, team members who like work, we work with remotely, um, contacts we have from back in New York still. So um, it's been exciting. It's been really fun um, building our business here and being part of the, the community in Buffalo. So what type of jobs do you do? Like, are you doing like commercials? Are you creating content? What are you, what are you doing? Yeah, so I, I do all the still photography. So I do kind of a mix of commercial and editorial work. Um, my background is obviously in editorial from working in magazines in New York. So I shoot a lot for Buffalo Magazine and I really love those assignments because they're really creative and, um, you know, I get to, um, you know, like still kind of exercise that muscle. Um, and then I also shoot a bit of commercial work, um, you know, everything from like healthcare to, you know, like e-commerce stuff. I shoot for New Era, um, who's a great client. And I really enjoy those those projects a lot. Um, and then Greg's work has kind of been a mix of a lot of different stuff. You know, the last year we've really worked with a lot of clients outside of the area as well um, and done a bit of traveling but still, um, you know, mostly commercial work and mostly uh, video content that's made for social media. Cool. So I know we were to have you on last month. Are you in Argentina? Were you in Argentina for work? No, I was, I was in Argentina for fun. Um, my cousin actually got married there. 
I know. I have, I would gladly travel to Argentina for work. Somebody hire me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, my cousin got married in Buenos Aires, so I went um, for her wedding, and then I kind of split off and um, explored the city some more, and it was a blast. It was really fun. It's amazing, sounds- amazing city. Yeah. That sounds very awesome. So, um, so, okay. So you're working, you, you have your business. So you said the pandemic, it gave you some challenges. So how long were you guys kind of down during the pandemic? Man, I'm trying to think, um, you know, starting in March of 2020, I don't even remember when it was like, um, you know, the different like classifications of like when you could start uh Mm -hmm. production again and those first few productions were very weird um you know we really had to kind of like reinvent the wheel of like how like i remember greg's first um video was like a it was like a pandemic response video for evergreen health to um for them to kind of communicate how they were handling um the pandemic and what what um services they were offering. So he had to do a whole, you know, like social distance outdoor video shoot for that. But to be honest, uh, I don't even remember exactly what month that was. I had a baby at that time as well. So I was kind of out of the mix. Um, um, I want to say it was like, we shut down March of 2020. I think we were doing production again like in the summer. Yeah. I remember I did a independent health shoot in August of 2020. So I guess, yeah, it was like maybe four or five months where like not a lot was going on. I see. Um, So one of the reasons I wanted to get you on here was talk about your, uh, your background. So, I mean, your actual, like your, the backgrounds that you make, not not your background. So tell so Goldie Way is the name of the company. Yeah, so that was kind of like an interesting, um, I guess, like silver lining pivot that came out of the pandemic is that you know, I was super pregnant. We were shut down, unable to work. We had our three year old at home, um, mm-hmm. so I found this you know hobby of dyeing fabric in my basement as something that was just like really a sanity saver um, in those early months of the pandemic. And I started experimenting with ice dyeing um, and I really got into that. This is an ice dyed sweatshirt. (laughs) Um, You basically, it's like tie dyeing, except you use ice, you put the dye on the ice, it all melts and like creates these kind of watercolory patterns. So I just like couldn't stop doing it really. It gave me a lot of um, just like, joy, I guess, in making something, creating, and then like wearing these things that I was making, um, just like the color. And I don't know, it was just like this little thing that I found refuge in during the pandemic. Um, and so I just never really stopped. I just kept dying fabric. I had my second daughter. Um, and then I eventually started dying these large canvas backdrops. Um, And I had started an Etsy store with the ice dyed stuff. And, you know, I was selling stuff here here and there. But when I started making the backdrops, they just took off. And, you know, I I realized it's like just kind of this niche I hit that is something people are looking for. I think so many people are creating content at home um, and they really, you know, just create an instant backdrop. I mean, that's what you don't want to see what's on the other side of this. <laughs> it's hiding a lot. Um, but they just, they're, they're like really fun to make. They're really fun for me to see like what people are doing with them. So I just, they just sell themselves. Like I get orders from literally all over the world um, for these backdrops. So it's just, I, I'm not sure where it's taking me next, but I'm really just kind of like enjoying the, the journey of, um, of what I, I started with this. Um, how, how big of backdrops are you making? Like, how, are we talking about small ones or very large ones? Yeah, so I, the smallest size I offer is five by eight. Um, mm-hmm. And they go all the way up to, I make uh, 13 by 15 feet. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So yeah, I have, I have a couple, let me see if I can, like this is a five by eight. This is perfect for like a singular, well, it's hard to see on our screen, um, our screen share, like the scale, but yeah. the five by eight is perfect for if you're shooting like one person, if you want to do three quarter length or headshots, or even if you want like a pulled back production shot where you see the background yeah. hanging and you see some of the environment. Um, and they're really like compared to working with seamless, which is obviously cumbersome. It's wasteful. Seamless is kind of precious to work with. It has to be rolled perfectly. Like these, you can literally stuff into a bag and they are just beautiful. Like you just take an A clamp or drape them over anything and they just create a beautiful instant background. Um, so I have like, you know, some best selling colors that people definitely seem to be into like kind of earth tones. And I started making an ivory backdrop, which has been really popular. Um, but yeah, it's been really fun. And it's been for me, like I said, most fulfilling to see all the creative things people have been doing with just, you know, a big piece of fabric. Yeah. So, um, so where, if people are buying them, are they, are they most being sold locally or are they being mostly sold online? So they're they're pretty much all being sold online through mm -hmm. through Etsy, yeah. Um, wholesale yet? People keep kind of suggesting that I need to. It's like one of those things. So, um, I I feel like there's a lot of like business. Um, strategy and potential I haven't realized with it yet. Um, just because I said, like I said, they just kind of sell themselves and I get the orders in and I make them and ship them off. So um, yeah, I'd love to, you know, offer them wholesale locally. Um, I have to figure out how to do that. I think we, we me and Stephen were talking or Stephen was talking with you at that ASMP meeting that we had. So Hopefully we'll be able to get some in the store in the new year because I think they're a really cool product and I think people will be all over them because they're cool. So and, really? and they're handmade and they're local and all that good stuff. So I, I think we'll get some in the store definitely. So we'll, we'll talk about that at some point. After yeah, I think it would be cool over. too if they were if they were offered in stores to even I don't know offer them as like a daily rental. Like maybe you don't want to invest in owning a backdrop in a certain color, but um, yeah, I feel like there's potential there too for like a rental I program. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, I didn't even think about that, but that, that, that's a good idea too. So um, so if people want to know more about your backgrounds, where should they go? So they should go, can I screen share it real quick? I'm Ooh. just gonna- um, Absolutely, go ahead. Okay, let me Chrome. So, oh, sorry. I just shared the wrong screen. Can you guys see, are you looking at my Instagram right now or no? <laughs> I can no, we're looking at you. Okay. Uh, Whenever you're ready, just let us know. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so this is my um, Instagram. Whoa. Okay, I think I'm in like a highlight reel. Okay, can you guys see my main Instagram page now? Yeah, see it now. Okay, so I try to post um, pretty regularly on here. Um, and mm -hmm. right on my Instagram page is a link to my Etsy shop. Um, so you can definitely go on there to see like what's in stock. Um, some I, some backdrops are in stock and ready to ship and then others I make to order. Um, but I have some saved highlight reels here with like um, inspiration shots of like ways you can use your backdrops. I have shots of, um, let's see, how customers of mine have used their backdrops. Um, but yeah, definitely a lot of portraiture, a lot of like e-commerce. Um, it's interesting to see too, like just the texture translates really nicely in black and white as well. 
so you can kind of go on here and just like see how people have used them, maybe get some ideas. If you're like interested in a certain color, you can see how it's been used before. Um, and again, these aren't these are not my backdrops in these photos, but um, again, just kind of like some inspiration. Like I said, I love these the idea of these kind of like pulled back production shots with the backdrop. Um, so yeah, definitely check out my Instagram account. You can see more of like my process. I do a lot of custom orders as well. Um, if you want like a two tone backdrop or a particular color or size. Um, but yeah, there's a customer of mine ordered a giant backdrop um, for their band, um, like stage setup in German, a German band. This is a organic clothing company called Pact, and they ordered a custom backdrop for this Grateful Dead collaboration, which was really cool. Um, but yeah, this is more of the kind of like e-commerce stuff. Awesome. But yeah, give me a follow there, and um, then you can link right to my Instagram or my Etsy page there. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm glad to, happy to do um, custom orders or, you know, talk about any particular colors or Beautiful. ideas. Yeah. So if you're looking for your store away on Instagram, it'll take you everywhere else you need to go. So. Thank you for coming on the uh, the show today under the circumstances. You know, usually we do this in the store, but thank you I think so we made much it for work here me. on the internet. So yeah, this was cool. Definitely. So, uh, if you like this, like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends about this, and uh, we will see you next week. First show of the month is always what's in your bag. I think we're going to have Ariel Hawkins on next week to show us what's in her bag. So until next week, we will see you. All right. Thanks so much. Locally owned and operated for over 50 years, Delaware Camera is your number one spot for all your camera needs, education, accessories, printing, and more. Located at 2635 Delaware Avenue in Buffalo. Visit Cameraspot.com 